A very big decision will be made tomorrow in regard to the sale of vapes here in Louisiana. KPLC's Morgan Babineau catches up to speed on what's happening. These shelves are full of vape products, most of which are not approved by the FDA. Very few e-cigarettes are, and whether they stay on the shelf could be decided on Wednesday. In 2023, a law passed to triple taxes on vape products in Louisiana. The extra revenue was to be allocated to entities like state police and the fire marshal's office. Part of the law banned the sale of products not approved by the FDA. All the products that we have here, like 90% of them are not on there. So due to that, we were, we were supposed to take a bunch of things off of the shelf. Vape shop owners were forced to register any approved products with alcohol and tobacco control by November of 2023. But that registry never came to fruition after a lawsuit was filed by the Louisiana Convenience Store and Vape Association. They argue the law is unconstitutional and works against itself. It increased taxes on products, the majority of which it banned. A judge granted a preliminary injunction in January, temporarily halting the law from being enforced. And Thursday will hold a permanent injunction hearing. The people that were buying those stopped buying it because they're going to Texas and ordering online and stuff like that. Store owners have already felt the effects of the law in the short period of time they weren't able to sell those vape products. And we had to let go of some of our employees and stuff like that too because we can't afford to keep everyone. So we was doing good at first and then the work just dropped. Amin Ahmed says the decision could make or break his business. If they banned it, it will affect us in a negative way. If like, obviously it's uh, vapes are basically like 65% of the income we get, you know, as a vape shop. In Lake Charles, Morgan Babineau, 7 News. Lawmakers say the act was passed in an effort to prevent children from vaping. We reached out to the Attorney General's office and the ATC, and neither could comment. The meeting is at 9.30 tomorrow morning.